this week I'm still in Fredericton, New Brunswick, working and hanging out with Rob Reese of the Royal Barbershops. Last episode, we checked out Rob's shop and the Tap Room Trail Breweries on the northern side of the St. John River. Today, I'll be working at a shop in downtown Fredericton, and in our downtime, we'll be completing our journey through the Tap Room Trail Breweries on the south side of the river, ending at the Joyce, which is located in the Lord Beaverbrook Hotel. There, we'll be picking up our swag for completing our tour of the Tap Room Trail. At the end of the day, we've all been invited for cocktails and juicy steaks at Steamer 36 Barbecue and Social. Can't wait. Welcome to the Global Barber. I'm Cedric Small. This season, I'm heading down east on a scenic journey through Canada's Atlantic coast. I'll be working in some of the coolest shops as I make my way throughout the maritime provinces and Newfoundland too. Along the way, I'll be searching for the best seafood, beverages, and local music. Each province is abundant with things to do and majestic scenery everywhere. It's going to be a great trip. This episode of The Global Barber is presented by Fredericton Tourism, Business Fredericton North, Downtown Fredericton, and Explore New Brunswick. Downtown Fredericton is the city's premier place to shop, dine, stay and play. Well, thanks for having me today. Oh, thank you for coming. I enjoyed having you here. I really did. Yeah, it was a great time. Loved cutting on the floor, hanging out with all the yeah. barbers. Yeah, yeah. And how long have you been here? Uh, in this location for three years, but in business in Fredericton, uh, six, six and a half. So, yeah. And you have another location in the north end? I do, on the north side of town. I opened it up uh, right in the middle of the pandemic. I had nothing but time when we were shut down, so it was perfect to, to build out a building. So, yeah. Has this always had a bar in it, right from day one? From day one, you know, I was, I've been in the bar business for quite some time prior to this career, so I kind of got hungry for the bar a little bit, so there you go, now I have both. Yeah, because you used to work in uh, Las Vegas as well? I did, I was in the bar and entertainment business out there for 16 years and I owned a bar. And uh, I sold it, I guess my first retirement, I was around 40 or so, and moved back to my home area in Nashville. And uh, I always wanted a barber shop, but I just never had, a, had the time being in Vegas in the bar business. So went back there, got bored after maybe six months, and uh, went to barber school. Oh, okay. And I was set out to uh, have a barber shop. Do all this right there in the Nashville area. But uh, my wife, she became pregnant. She's Canadian, so she won that one. So oh, here okay. I am, that's how I got here. Everyone always asks, how'd you get from Nashville to Vegas? And there you go, it's always, it's always a lady involved, I think, so. And what did you work at when you first came here? Uh, this is it, this is it. I, for, I was debating whether to go barbershop, bar, barbershop, bar, and I took a little bit more time. I did a little more research with the economy, and this was it, this is it. And then how long ago did you open the other barbershop? About a year and a half, yeah. Mm -hmm. And how many barbers do you have here? I have six on this side and three on the other side. And they've been with you from uh, right from the start? A couple have been with me from the beginning, but a couple have come and gone over, over the years. But uh, for the most part, I do have the same crew. And what's barbering like in Fredericton? It's amazing. The, the community, this is very new, especially the straight razor shave. There hadn't been a shave here in 30 years before I got here. So they took to it right away. That's unreal. Mm -hmm. What kind of services do you offer here? Well, of course we do regular haircuts, we do a lot of fades, um, of course the straight razor shades, we do a lot of beards, I have a lot of products, and of course we have a full bar. 
And do you host parties here with the I bar do. or haircut? I do. Uh, birthday parties, retirement parties, shave parties. Yeah, we do all kinds of things like that, yeah. And what's the, uh, what's your next venture? Are you going to open more barbershops? <laughs> Everyone always asks me that. <laughs> I think this is about it. This is my last rodeo here. I have a couple of shops and, you know, I like to do a lot of other fun things. Like I have a, a DJ business and I'm sponsoring Frederick's first barber convention next, next July 14th and 15th, which is also endorsed by the uh, New Brunswick Barber Association. And we're also going to have the annual barber convention there every year for the next 10 years, hopefully. And New Brunswick is the only barber association in Canada, is that true? Absolutely, yeah. Yeah, we're the only association in Canada. I, I think we're going to be growing, but we'll see. We'll see how that goes. And was there always uh, an association of the barbers in New Brunswick? Yeah, yeah. They've been here, I guess, about 40 years now. Yeah. Which I'm a part of. Oh, good. And you, you help out, you're on the board, or? I help out when I can, absolutely. You, uh, I know you're into a lot of things, so are you still on the floor cutting hair? I really don't have the time. I did a little bit when I first opened, but it grew so fast and everything moved so, so quickly, I just didn't have the time. Yeah, and when you first opened, uh, were you expecting it to be busy? Did, the, did it just fill up? Is it, that... You know, I, I was, uh, from the first day, the, the community was so, uh, overwhelmingly uh, supportive the, since the first day. Yeah. You have a great selection of uh, of alcohol. Well, thank you, thank you. I um I was I've been in the bar business for quite some time. I owned a bar in Vegas for 16 years, so I do have a little bit of knowledge. Um, I have top of the line scotches, bourbon, some whiskeys, and tequilas, and yeah, a few times a year I'll have a um, a scotch tasting just to make sure that I know what everyone likes so and what the public into. And do you support local, uh, the local breweries? I do, I do. I also have a great uh, Greystone and Grimrose. And, and this Patagonia Greystone is one of my most popular ones. Grim, Grimrose is nice too. We, uh, we went to uh, quite a few of them here. Yeah, we well, did, we yes, we had a good time with that. Yeah, yeah. that was good. Named after Grimross Island in the St. John River, Grimross Brewing produces a wonderful selection of Belgian-style beers and even a non-alcoholic beer. It's a great place to check out some of the local live music and art. With a total of six locations throughout four Atlantic provinces, the Gahan House is a chain of restaurants and breweries which originated in Prince Edward Island. This location is only a four minute walk from the Royal Barbershop in downtown Fredericton. Assorted types of oysters and carefully handcrafted ales always make for a tasty pairing.
Did you cut any hair in Nashville as well when you well, came to Barber? Well, I went to school there. I went to school there for a year at uh, Barber Academy there, downtown Nashville. There, yeah. And then you did? Did you work in a shop down there? I never worked in a shop. You know, I, it was just something I just put in my, my belt. I knew at one time I would use it, but just I was waiting for the right opportunity. Yeah. And when you came to Fredericton, mm -hmm. uh, was it your plan to open a barber shop? I wasn't sure. I was debating on whether to open a bar or a barbershop. Bar or barbershop. I really wasn't sure, so now I got both. Ah. Yeah. And people took to it right away. Right like away. The, right away. Is, is there any other locations like this? Anybody doing bar or barbershops? I don't think so. Not in New Brunswick. Oh. And New Brunswick is also known as the uh, beer capital. The brew, uh, craft brew. Craft, craft brew. Beer? Uh, yes, yeah, there's a lot of craft breweries here, for sure. So where do you get your barbers at? Well, I have quite a few from all over the world. I'm a uh, designated employer for the Atlantic Immigration Pilot Program, and I can sponsor workers from all over the world to come to work for me. So uh, I do have an international barbershop. And when they get here, uh, they're well-versed in They're well-trained, yeah. Most of them are 10 years or more barbering, so. And what kind of uh, styles or what kind of services do people get in this area? Uh, we do a lot of fades. There's a lot of beards here. We do a lot of beard trimming, a lot of shaves, uh, just regular haircuts. Long hair is becoming popular again. The mullet is yeah. becoming popular again. So, yeah. And you do a lot of uh, kids? We do. We do anywhere from three years old to 80 years old. You know, um, I'd say my main demographic would be 30 to 35. And I noticed. Uh you have a lot of DJ equipment around yeah. here. Do you DJ? Well, DJ, DJing is just a hobby of mine. It's been a hobby of mine since I was 11 years old. And every once in a while, I'll do a party here or there. And this summer, uh, I had a few DJs and myself. We DJed at the Delta to, uh, pool there. So tonight, uh, you've picked a restaurant out for us. Mm -hmm. What's Where are we headed? We're headed to the Delta Hotel, and we're headed to the Steamer 36. They have an amazing menu. You're going to love it. And this is a regular spot you like to go to? I love it. It's one of the only ones I go to here. And you miss Vegas? From time to time. From time to time. But I'm enjoying Fredder than I really am. What's the barbering like in Vegas? It's, uh, you, you have your mom and pop shops and then you have your, your franchises and all, you know, and it's pretty much like it is everywhere else. And since you opened up here, uh, you brought uh, a lot of the barbering and shaving to the area. Mm -hmm. Are the barber sh local barber shops starting to do more of that? They're trying, but we are the only shop that offers a proper straight razor shave with hot lather. And I noticed you also have uh, a lot of your in-house products available as well. I do. I have my own beard oil and beard butter that we sell and we use on every client. Oh, nice. And that's a big seller? It is a big seller, yeah. And do you hold any uh, classes here? Do you teach barbering? No, not yet, but that, that's something I have been thinking about, honestly, yeah. Like a school? Possibly. Yeah, might be good for the basement. Yeah, it would be. Yeah, <laughs> for cool sure. school. Yeah. And where do you see yourself? Uh, is this something you're going to stay into? Yeah, I, this is my last rodeo. I, I mean, everyone asks, are you going to have more shops? I'm really not sure yet. I'm enjoying it right now, so we'll just take it, take it as it comes. We'll see. And uh, I noticed you have a couple of children. I do. Are they, uh, are they destined for barbers? I don't think so. I, I, I don't know. I have uh, my two sons. My old, oldest son is 15. He's a really good athlete. And my youngest son is more of an engineer. So we'll see how it goes. Well, thank you so much for You're having me. You're very welcome, here. my friend. Yeah. Thanks for taking me on the on the tap room trail. Yeah, that, that was, was a something. blast. It was. I had a great time. And then tonight we're heading off to dinner. Yep. Um, so who all is coming to dinner tonight? Most of my barbers are going to come, and, and my receptionists are going to come and hang out with us too. Oh, good. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. You're very welcome. You're always welcome.
cheek cheeks too. Oh, this is a beef brisket. Oh, man. Healthy water brisket. Maybe Brewing features a large tap room and an assortment of hoppy American and British ales using local ingredients. As with most locations in Fredericton, Greystone Brewing is pet friendly and operates a 10 barrel brew house system which generates roughly 3,000 pints of West Coast style beer per barrel. Unlike any other breweries on the Taproom Trail, the Cap is a nano brewery which celebrates local music, artists and events with a record store built in where you can trade your used records for a store credit. King West Brewing Company is a great place to try some American and German style ales. Restico is the on-site restaurant which features wood-fired Neapolitan style thin crust pizza and a menu inspired by the Mediterranean coast. in the province. Um, it's all, uh, all New Brunswick beer, uh, rotating taps too, so it changes every day. For me today, I would probably drink the Shakespeare oatmeal stout from St. Okay, let's try that. This episode of The Global Barber is presented by Fredericton Tourism, Business Fredericton North, 
downtown Fredericton and explore New Brunswick. Accommodations for guests of the Global Barber provided by Hilton Garden Inn, Fredericton Downtown. <laughs>